From every battlefront of World War II, an endless flow of photographs and motion picture film reported history in the making to the American people. More vividly than thousands of printed words, they told the dramatic story of the greatest struggle of all time, a story recorded by an anonymous corps of men. The combat photographers, fighting men whose only weapons in the front lines of battle were their cameras. The story of these men is as dramatic as the events they covered. combat cameraman began long before Pearl Harbor. Then he was the civilian news photographer telling headline stories in pictures. He was the newsreel cameraman bringing to the screen a film report of the events of the world. was the Hollywood cameraman, whose skill as a craftsman put him at the top of his profession. He was the untrained boy in uniform who learned his trade in the service and learned it well. Or perhaps he was the travelogue cameraman who brought to his audience pictures of colorful and unknown worlds. Of such a world were the distant islands of the Blue Pacific, romantic, legendary islands of paradise. Here, with their picturesque customs, lived the happy, carefree people, the brown-skinned races of the Southern Sea. Islands meant the fulfillment of their dreams of peace and happiness. But that was yesterday, when the Pacific was as peaceful as its name. Yes, this was the peaceful Pacific. But now, with our country at war, the civilian photographers joined ranks with service cameramen. All became soldiers, sailors, marines, or coast guardsmen. Covering every theater of naval and military operations, the fighting photographers, at a cost of many lives, brought back such motion pictures as and these were only a few of the great film documents of the combat cameraman. Yes, we brought back the pictures, all right. And we lived every scene in those pictures, too. As Coast Guard cameramen, we saw it over and over again. From Guadalcanal to Guam, the shell-shattered towns and villages, the homeless, helpless people, still numb from shock and their long suffering under the Jap invader. People whose only crime had been the desire to live their own peaceful way of life. The youngsters were always the same, curious but still scared. We used our best pidgin English, showed them a kind of friendship they had never known before. These newly won friends were a free people, little people who once again could smile for your camera and mean it. You are not only a cameraman now, but a goodwill ambassador. It was 
was all part of the same assignment. An assignment that began smoothly enough. You had your orders to cover the coming operation. But where or when that operation would take place was a secret that must remain unknown until you were underway. So now you hunted out your Coast Guard transport and reported aboard. There wasn't any fanfare or bon voyage celebration, and you didn't expect any. As the Marines and GIs came aboard, you wondered how tough the going would be for them. It was easy to tell that for many, this was the first time out. When dock lines were singled up, you felt you were leaving all safety and security behind. Take up your gangway! You round out a few departure shots, including the usual would-be actor on the dock. Once the ship had cleared the harbor and taken her convoy position, your camera work really began. At first, it was almost routine. Background material that you'd need later to fill out the complete story. During those first few days at sea, you shot the overall pattern of the convoy's progress, using the ships and sea as a background for your GI actors. There were times when life had its lighter side and the grim business of war seemed far away. Sometimes it was the unexpected that brightened the scene. Like Peggy's new family. The addition of those pups to the passenger list did almost as much for the ship's morale as mail from home. As each day brought the convoy closer to its objective, tension tightened among both officers and men. You knew it wouldn't be long now. Below decks, Coast Guard coxswains who would pilot the landing craft were thoroughly briefed on their duties for the coming invasion. The whole ship was alive with last-minute preparations. And every fighting man checked his weapons. You checked your camera. It was one piece of shooting equipment that would never worry the Jap. During the little time left, you relaxed when you could. kept her promise for the red-hot welcome. Kamikaze.
kamikaze pilots took a heavy toll. This was the hardest part of your assignment, your story's first grim chapter. Yet you knew it had to be part of the picture. Yesterday, those men had been your shipmates, the friendly, easygoing comrades you had lived and laughed with. Today, you photographed them for the last time. With the coming of night, the task force reached its objective. You aren't counting the days now. You are counting the minutes until H hour. for sure. You went with the first wave. noise gun. You moved ahead with the troops, following the action as its pattern spread and shifted. Cameramen were everywhere, capturing the full scope and tremendous power of the invasion force. Some cameramen would never know how the picture ended. For others, the long trek back had begun. Even the youngest were veterans now, though they should have been earning high school diplomas instead of Purple Hearts. For this combat cameraman, the picture was over. It was something you tried not to think about. But your assignment still had to be finished. There was still the tragic aftermath of the fighting to be covered. Aboard ship, the men in white silently waged their own battles of life and death. The newly won harbor was crowded now with cargo ships and Coast Guard transports pouring their seemingly endless flow of men, equipment, and supplies ashore. As our troops moved forward, enemy prisoners were herded to the beaches. With each successive
successive invasion, the tide of conquest moved ever closer to the Jap homeland. The islanders were no longer friendly natives. They were Japanese civilians, and beginning to realize that the war had turned against them. These were the strange, fanatical people from the land of the rising sun. Yes, we were on the last mile of our road to victory. But that road had been paved with blood and sacrifice. This part of your assignment as a Coast Guard cameraman was over. But the greatest and final chapter of the Pacific story was yet to come. September 2nd, 1945, the once arrogant Japanese Empire bowed in humble and unconditional surrender. And history was given a pictorial record of that eventful day by the combat cameraman. From Normandy to Berlin, from Tarawa to Tokyo, the men behind the cameras had recorded the greatest story of all time. The story which, in itself, is the strongest argument for lasting world peace. It was sunset in the Pacific.